Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, Mrs. is Lita here with U.S. Bright Homeschool Academy. Welcome to our class today. We are, uh, this is our social studies class, and we are going to be looking at lesson A. If you have your workbook, you can just turn and you'll find that lesson in your workbook on page 20, if you're following along. And we're talking about weather patterns of different regions here in Texas. So if you live in Texas, this will be an excellent video lesson for you. Even if you don't live in Texas, you'll still learn something, I believe. So stay tuned in. We have in our great state of Texas, five main regions here. And some uh, data um, sheets I saw can perhaps dissect the state into many more regions or fewer regions, but I found five to be most appropriate. It's really, I felt like it, um, I feel like you broke up the state in a proper number of regions. So we're going to talk about those five. Here is the state of Texas, and we're going to try and fit all of our, our little uh, boards. We have written on each of these little cards the name of the region. So for instance, in this particular area of Texas, the panhandle part of Texas, they call this the panhandle, it is called Northern Plains. So I wrote that here on the board this whiteboard, Northern Plains, and it's in the upper region of Northern Texas. About this region, this region is very arid. That's A-R-I-D. And what that means is it's extremely dry. So what is the weather there? What is the weather pattern? You can see the climate in this area. It is very dry. And it also means it doesn't receive much precipitation. It doesn't rain very often there. So it's just really dry and warm. And that is the weather pattern of this particular region. By the way, in Texas, there are five major regions, just in case I didn't say that, five. So we're going to be looking at five. This is the very first one I want to talk about. The second region I want to talk to you about briefly is the Big Bend County. It, by the way, the Panhandle, it, um, it goes all the way down. So it's, it's this whole area. And then Big Bend count, uh, Country is here on the far west side. <clears throat> now, if this place is arid, this place is even more arid, it's even hotter. It's so hot and it receives so small uh, precipitation that it actually, there are deserts in this place. Okay, so there are deserts in Big Bend country. If you live in Texas and you want to just see, you know, some really dry place with cacti and things like that, go to Big Bend, uh, Big Bend country and you'll be able to see what you're looking for there. Not very much rain, but there are also mountains in this area there are mountains that are formed, and in the mountainous region of Big Bend Country, you can find uh, some cooler weather there, okay? Just in case you want to give it a, you want to travel to the west part of Texas, that's what you'll find there. In Hill Country, Hill Country is right about here. <clears throat> it has semi-arid weather, which means that it's not completely dry and parched, not completely hot, um, extremely. It's semi, which means halfway is semi. It uh, has cooler weather, and uh, you can experience basically summer and summer and winter and winter is what you can experience there. Cool winters and uh, hot summers. Next, I want to talk to you about Piney Woods. Piney Woods is right here, and Piney Woods is has a subtropical type of climate or weather patterns. We're talking about weather patterns. The uh, this particular area receives the most of all of the rainfall in in Texas. So if you want to get the most rainfall, you're going to move to Piney Woods where you're going to experience lots of uh, much more precipitation than the other five regions we're going to talk about or what we talked about so far. But it's also it experiences a lot of humidity. Humidity is basically hot air, right? Hot, uh, excuse me, moist air. But it's so moist because of the Gulf Coast. We have the Gulf of Mexico here, which pushes in currents of wind. That that wind creates precipitation, it rains. So you have hot weather because we're in Texas and then you have a lot of moisture in the air that causes for humidity. Humidity is that feeling you get when you kind of feel sweaty even though 
you haven't gone for a run, <laughs> you know, that's uh, humidity. That's what you experience in Piney Woods. It is due to the subtropical environment we have. Um, it also is very susceptible to things like thunderstorms and tornadoes. So that's this region. Um, this is the region that um, if you hear about a tornado or even a thunderstorm or hurricane, the part of Texas that's going to be most impacted is going to be here. Okay, and finally, we're going to talk about South Texas Plains, which is right about here. This is Southern Texas. This is where you'll find, you know, Laredo and some of those Southern places. This is where you go if you want to start, maybe if you want to um, form a ranch. Maybe you want to, you know, have cow, cattle, and horses. You don't want it to be so hot where their horses fall over and die from, you know, from dehydration and from heat. But you want it to still be warm. This is the place to go. Um, they have lots of ranches, grasslands, and it's a very warm climate. We call it the tropical. So where this is subtropical, this is tropical. It has um, uh, moist, moisture from the air as well. It's just slightly warmer conditions. You might even say hot. Um, it does experience northern cold weather in the winter due to the Arctic which is the North Pole, it experiences, it brings in a gush of cold air, which allows the, the um, breeze there to be cooler during the winter season. So that's what you can experience if you were to go to any of these five regions in the state of Texas. What I want you to do is if you have, um, if you live in a different state, perhaps it's not Texas, find out what the weather patterns are in your state and um, you know, create something like this find out what they are and then maybe discuss it over with your parents or guardians and have them, you know, perhaps drive you up to a certain place in your state where you haven't been. Maybe a fun or exciting place. For me, I think that what sounds kind of funny is Big Bend Country. Just really, really hot, sweaty weather, you know, deserts. That sounds fun. You know, you kind of like go there and you can like come back and be very happy that you live in Piney Woods, right? Okay, well, that's all I have for you today, boys and girls. Thank you so much for coming to class and being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you